Salutations and welcome to my haunted abode. Today we are checking out the full version of Mortal Meal. I've been waiting for this game since I played the demo two years ago. Looks like a restaurant. Specifically a restaurant you see in like Kitchen Nightmare. And out of my expectations, this game had a countdown of it being released. I thought it was going to get released on Valentine's Day, but I guess there was like a delay just to fix some bugs. Anyway, this game costs about $13.99 but currently on sale for about $11.89 as I'm recording this. So you can go ahead and uh, get this game for yourself in the link in the description below. It is on Steam and Itch.io. And it turns out that there are cheats in this game. Collect CD to unlock this cheat. Oh, so we're looking for CDs, hmm. So this was made for the Haunted PS1 game jam a while ago. We'll go ahead and just start a new game. Like, I cannot wait. So how, how will it start? Well, are we going to be back in, like, the bistro? Kind of looks like it. <laughs> Doggy eating heart. Is that what that is? I recall it being a heart. Goblin Council Presents. Oh, I love the usage of the camera. It's like a movie. Yep, that's a heart. There's like blood splattering all over the place. Yep. This is gonna start back right where we were from the demo. So I think what we what we need to do from here. That is good usage of, like, 3D tracking. Alright. And now the main character is going to come out from the grave as a apparition of some sort. Alright, let's get this started. Hopefully the face cam isn't too awkward, as far as like the angle goes. I know, I, I just can't fix the tripod. Or it's like I could fix it, it's just I'm using a different tripod nowadays. Compared to what I used two years ago. Alright, yeah, so we gotta go out here. Hi, move out of the way. Who wants to be a good boy and move out of the way? No? Well, it was worth a shot. He's blocking the way out, and it seems I'm too solid to get past. I'll have to distract him. Hmm. Want to get the heart? Inspect. How did I end up here of all places? The creaking of that swing set. It sounds familiar. Some sort of nostalgic vibe, like playing this as a child. Could I even still lose my balance? I miss playing on those things. I think I already mentioned it. It's like I was being such a simp playing on that thing back in the day, for a girl, and I just fell off a lot just so she could, like, come to my aid or something. I don't know, it's really cringe. Oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? How am I here, and my heart is there? Oh, it's still warm and slobbery. Alright. So supposedly we're going to be giving this to the dog. I mean, it came out that way in the opening. Here you go. Ugh, I guess I'm not using it anymore. Eat up, little buddy. Alright, yeah, so this guy does not talk. He looks like he's taking a break before closing up. Hello, can you help me? Hello? I don't think he can hear me. Either that or he's an a-hole. Maybe both. Alright, so now we go in here. Uh, we gotta go look for something. And then we're gonna get chased down. And then it was like over here. Oh, and before we do that, I remember this clean suit. Wow, that's so cool. Incredibly done, but also strangely amusing. What was this again? Doesn't look like anything important. This must have taken a long time to make. Alright. So yeah, we gotta get something out of this. To all staff, the freezer combination charged 
to 1077. Please do not leave this line around for someone to find. Angelo. All right, 1077. Are we not going to close that? We, we can't close it. It just says inspect. All right, 1077. One, oh, uh, go back. 1077. All right, go in. What are we doing in here? I forgot. Fresh frozen meat. I don't... I, how many stars does this place get? A large brass key. Out here? Why? In the freezer. A little strange. We can't just go through here, right? Yeah, of course we can't. The, uh... Reaper ghost with the candle is gonna start chasing after us. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's dark. Ah, you go away. We gotta go in here. Boom. Easy. Okay, we've also done this before, too. Help me, oh gosh. Reckless driver. Yep, we remember this. Although the PC repair part was different. Never seen anyone come out of that. The tag for a face mask sticking out, I didn't even notice that. Alright. Wait, have these people come out before? What on earth was that? What the heck did that thing go? It looks like a soul left its body, but then that creature did something to it. Disturbing. Yeah, I thought the body was just left there. I didn't see this scene, though. The... Oh, yeah. The PC repair. The blood trail from my heart picks up here. Maybe if I find my body, I can figure out what more is going on. Can I go in here? Okay. This is all new. Alright, what is up here? Hey! It's the mascot for the Haunted PS1 disc. Alright, nice little Easter egg. Alright, takes a bottle like no problem. It's a cheap little souvenir bobblehead from Albany. Grant solutions for megabyte brands, monumental savings. What do you have here? I mean, clearly, this is like the uh, micro center of this game. Brand new clip arts images? I must be dreaming. Hmm. Clip art deluxe 95. Yeah, this clearly takes place in the past, if it's 95. Dill 8 megabyte RAM, go ahead, take a bite. <laughs> I get it, okay. Uh, anyway. Wow, two floppy drives. What could be better than this? Yeah, this takes place way back in the 90s, unless this is like a vintage store. I don't think a vintage store would have this much, though. It just occurred to me, how will I play video games now? Well, I think it's more important that you get a body first. Killer speed will churn. 16 megabyte RAM. Okay, so is there anything we need to do? Like go into that room? Dear Terry, you owe me five bucks for replacement keys again. I don't care how funny the number may be. Stop typing it so much. Birdie. What's the number? Are we talking about like 69 or 420? Anyway. Welcome to DigiDoor 500. To start unlocking your door, you will need to correctly answer three questions to confirm your identity. Press any key to begin. What computer brand in the store has the most RAM? Uh, I gotta look around for that. Okay, so... I don't think it was this. 8 megabytes of RAM. 
that was four megabytes of RAM. I, I could have sworn that was like 16. Oh, there we go. 16. Fill the speed with churn. I think the company's name is Churd. And it, it killer speed is just like a, a complimentary. All right. Can I type this? Oh, I can. Sure. Yay. What's my favorite vacation destination? How am I supposed to know that? Or, or is it Albany? Because of the bobblehead. The out the bobblehead's from Albany. All right. What number am I thinking of? Sixty-nine. <laughs> that was easy. All right. Yeah, apparently the number sixty-nine is just so funny to whoever Terry. All right. Oh. Blue screen to death. What's going on here? Anyway, I guess we'll just we'll leave. Oh, this leads to the blood trail? Oh, no! Oh, I gotta go back for that. Hang on. Oh, it stopped. Strange. Why'd it do that before? Should have kept it going for like an e revive. Right, anyway. Yeah, we're gonna go around and get this disc. Uh, yeah, it's pretty more of like an extended version of the demo so far. But you know, this is the full game, so... We're expected to see a whole lot more. CD found, big head mode. Oh. Okay, just random sounds of cars. Alright, now back inside the PC repair store. I'm also getting hungry, but it's like 4 o'clock in the morning as I'm playing this. But I gotta get this video out. Because I am thirsty for views. This channel's doing a little bit better than usual. Creepy Creepy Love got 100 views, which I'm happy about. Because I did not want to move that to members. I want to give the developer as much recognition as possible. Because it's a new developer. He's developing another game. And I want to do as much as I can to help the new game devs out there. He's around the same age as me. So I want to show love to pretty much the same generation as me. I don't know what that was. I guess it was like baby deers. Deerlings, mind you. <laughs> Alright. So, so far, no threats. There should be something that comes from the ground. So keep your eyes out. Yep, that pretty much speaks my language. To spook you out. Backwards music? Yeah, I think it might come out from this. Yep, yep. Oh, come on. I wanted to go this way. Oh, come on! <laughs> Naughty, naughty hands. Uh oh. Oh, come on! There's too much of them. Stop it. Goofy little hands, you. That's a big no no. Uh, why did I choose this path? Oh no! Dude, that was just bad good for me to get caught. That's no fun. All right, are we done with all that? Scared me for a bit. All right. Uh, I should be looking out for CDs, right? Oh no. Uh, pats, pats, pats. I don't see any pats out here. We gotta look out for more CDs if we want to get some more cheats. I don't know, the sheets kind of just like shout Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 to me. Because I think they also have like a big heads, 
a big head mode. It's either that or like Pro Skater 2. Either way, I, I love the direction that Goblin Counts is going with. I like their ideas have been like unanimous as far as sheets go. Alright. I think we're um getting warmer to where we need to be. Yeah, I think we made it to the end, but I didn't get any disses if there are disses in there. That's me. Well, mine is my heart anyhow. And yet, I'm kind of still here. Why? Maybe I can piece together what happened. Um... Uh, yeah, check the wallet. No ID might be able to learn something from the other stuff in here. Wait a second, I definitely recognize this person. Must be someone important to me if I got his picture. Looks like an old concert ticket for a band called Rat Ring. I like this creepy little gnome. It seems like this photo was taken somewhere around town. Hmm. Alright. And... It's still cork. I guess I wasn't poisoned. There are two glasses. Was I here with someone? Not quite as handsome as I once was. Hmm. What happened to that person? Did that person cause this? Did he shoot you? Memories. Oh, huh, okay. So I got everything in my memories, just in case. And I guess it was like a roommate or something. Your roommate shot you. Or I, I don't know. I, what happened exactly? How did your heart come out? Yeah, I, I don't think this person was shot, unless it was like shot like right in the torso. Huh, I don't know. I guess like we, we'll need a little bit more information to solve the mystery. But yeah, I, I love these type of games where you just have to solve these type of mysteries. They're fun. So that was it, right? We back in the neighborhood? I don't know where we're at. No. Oh, I meant town, not neighborhood, but we are in a neighborhood. <laughs> Alright. Hi. You gotta help me. I think something's really wrong. Can't you hear me? Hello? Why won't anyone answer me? I can hear you. I think we need to talk. Oh wait, is he a ghost too? I, mean, I thought he was just some weirdo flirting with girls. <laughs> uh, I can hear you. Don't come any closer. Are you one of those... things? Boo. No, I'm like you. So they're after you too? Something is. Last thing I remember was waking up and being chased by this a-hole with a candle. Same here. What even is that thing? Not sure, but I have an idea of what it wants. Some sort of demon? Definitely a creature-esque. I've never seen anything like it. Or any of this crap. Hmm. But I have an idea what it wants. It seems to come for the recent deceased like us. Like us? What do you mean? Uh, dead. I don't really know how to say this, but you're floating afoot. You're crazy. I'm not dead. I'm just a bit pale. You're crazy. I'm not dead. I just... Oh, wait. I didn't collect the thing. <laughs> I had to think. I have to... Go. Excuse me, sir. Come back here. So, do I follow him? I don't know. He has to go somewhere. 
Where's this gonna lead to? Oh, we're back in the town. Okay, so there's there's more content as far as levels go. Because we never had that in the demo. So where'd he go exactly? He had to go somewhere. Is he in the uh, Angela's Bistro? I don't see him. Can we go this way? It's like clearly there's more levels that we can participate in. What's going on here? What, what was he in such a hurry for? It ended up costing him his life. Was it that guy with the glasses? Wait, so he's the one that ran over that guy. Because he was recklessly driving. But somehow he just like recklessly drove all the way down here. Dang. I thought he was like, driving straight afterwards and then that was the end of it. Alright. Well, we got some backstory to that. A ghost pretty much just got captured because of him. Now we're both dead. Alright, anyway. What about these stores? Clean suits. Oh, I see the reference there. Can I do anything here? Can I go in? Maybe later on? I think you can go inside the grocery store, if memory serves me correctly. I think I've been here before, too. I was trying to get a azaleas for someone important, but they just said they'd give me 50 cents for each. Oh, huh, okay. So, do we need to go in there later? Cash for flowers. I don't think there's anything to do down there. But, like, I know we're going to be going into the grocery store. I've seen the trailer. Alright, so, we have to do something inside the neighborhood, I guess? Let's see. So we got this gnome picture. I like this creepy little gnome. It seems like this photo is taken somewhere around town. So maybe I keep my eyes out for the gnome. And then that leads me to the house or something. That's not the gnome. That looks very similar. Okay, so it's a red hat gnome with a mushroom. With a bush behind it and a tree. Boom. Alright. So, do I just, do I go inside the house? Keep bad for opening this garage door. But we don't know the code. Unless we have info here, like this concert ticket. 2491? Four, nine, one. And there couldn't be any other reason to have that ticket. It was like, what concert is nearby here? Alright. In we go. Pretty uh, straightforward puzzle so far. It doesn't take a whole lot of thinking like uh, football by Cloak and Dagger does. Oh, this place is dirty up. Someone hasn't been cleaning up. Hmm, alright. Just a few ice trays and a frozen Tupperware. Alright, close it. This person does not care. Just wants to use up all that power. Alright. They clearly order out a lot. Might be able to gather some clues here. <laughs> okay, wow. What if mode? Hmm. Wonder what this is about. A what if mode. I like the beat. This is Rat Ring? I can see why you guys like to go to the concerts for this. Alright. That's a big pile of bills. Ouch. And a gas shut off notice. Oh, that's terrible. A weekly pill organizer. Seems familiar, but I'm not sure why. Maybe I'll all click later. We're inside your house after all. Some camera equipment and a trophy for best black and white photo. Hmm, 
Congratulations on that. This photo's a flower? That That's boring. So, so they're partners. They're not just roommates. I assume. It's kind of set off that way in a picnic. Sing Jun, I remember you now. How could I have forgotten? Are there more photos that we can look at? I gotta see more memories. There's this. What kind of photos are these? These are, these are pretty dark. Just like on a dark alleyway. Stirring the pot of Sang Jun. I like this tune to the game. It's very soothing. Morgan, can you come here? Think fast. Oh, oh, we're doing this? I, I was not expecting that. Okay. Uh, hey, that was a, a bad throw. Now, can you chop this radish for me? Sure thing, happy to mutilate some vegetables. Yes, but only for two kisses. Okay, yeah, they're partners. Uh, you're sure you want me to do it? Um, mutilate some vegetables. That radish never did anything to you. I like the use of the audio, too, when it comes to the dialogue. It just plays, like, little, uh, trumpet sounds. That's cool. Very unique way to use the audio, kind of similar to, like, the... the jargon that goes on with Banjo and Kazooie. Inspect? What are we, what are we inspecting? I should help Sang Jung with that radish first. Oh, okay. Alright, we're chopping. Choppy chop chop, I'm gonna be chopping some tomatoes later. Could have my Friday cheat meal. By the way, I picked up your prescription. They were out of nacho cheese blasted ones, so I just got regular pill flavor. I'm sorry? Wait, flavored pills? Nacho cheese blasted ones? That's for the best. The cardiologist said it's best to stay away from any flavors that come in blast form. And did she say anything about your husband's world famous Sivalong thing? I probably butchered the name of that. That sounds like a Korean dish. She said thanks for bringing in leftovers. You always make enough to feed the whole family. Or whole town. Well, this batch is just for you. You really do love me. Just me? Where are you going? That is a lot of soup just for me, as delicious as it is. Alright, I really mean you and me. We're set with soups for days. You know, this soup is why I fell in love with you. I'll part of my plan, lure you in with my soup, and then marry you. Um, before we eat, make sure to take your medicine. Alright. Oh, wait, so is that what that was? Yeah, that was the medicine. It's Monday. How cute. But I wonder what happened to him? Did he do something? They don't seem like they have an issue with each other. Curious. What? What's going on here? Are you guys just like... Deep diving into trash? I'm, I'm confused as to what's going on in this photo. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Johnny Knife Blaster 4 was taped over. Alright. It's that same band as the ticket stub. It's coming back to me now. The German have had a rat tail. Both kinds, actually. Oh, another one. Yes! So we can remember this. I like the story so far. I can see why 
they decided to post this on February. Unfortunately, not on Valentine's Day, but thankfully I had creepy, creepy love to play. Uh, inspect this. The picnic with Sang Jun and I in our favorite spot. The forest just wasn't the same without him. Wait, it says remember right here. I don't know why the remember disappeared. He's going pretty high. He's going to flip it into a backflip. By all means, do it. Alright. Anyway. Um, yeah, this place got trashed so bad. Yeah, let's go see upstairs now. A lot to be needed to clean up here. His and his gamer gear. We had many sleepless MUD marathons together. I'm I, I'm I'm sorry. What's MUD? <laughs> I don't know. They they don't have very good taste as far as like the photos go. Like a picture of their garden and like a photo of their mouse. I I don't know. If I were me, I'd be putting, like, Easter egg photos here. Like this one. Oh no, that's a window. I don't think I need to use this anymore. Wait, is that what ectoplasm is? Hmm. Gonna go in here? Nope. Makes me wonder if there's gonna be, like, a CD here later on. This area shouts CD. I don't know. We'll find out. So, what else are we going to do now? Are we done here? We just came here just to see some memories? I mean, it's something at least. We got some backstory. Can I check this out? No. Sing Jan, is that you? No, it's, it's him. The candle man. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that maybe... Hmm. I wonder... I guess maybe... Oh my gosh. St. Jun must have been caught. I don't know. Like earlier. Is Saint June dead? Ah. Uh oh, no no no. Yeah, let me go here. Uh ah. Okay. Starting over. Alright, I'm going through here this time. No! Hey, that's not fair, I got stuck. It's easy to get stuck in this game, man. I do not like it. Alright, we finally made it to this part. Oh yeah, I remember this from the trailer too. Alright, where is he? I don't know, I'm going. I'm going. Uh, definitely not a big fan of this. Like the chasing sequence with all of this going on. It's not terrible though. Better than Buzzsaw Bloodhouse? Oh my gosh. Okay, go. Alright, we're getting out of the house. Just remember to always stay out of the house. Alright, finish puking, please. Oh my gosh, should I just die from being puked on? Really? It's going down. Good. We're fine here. It's a long shot to hit us getting hit. Alright, perfect. Oh no, not. Oh, we're back to this. Are we? Oh no! Oh no! Go. It's a good chase sequence. I give it that. 
I think I despawned him in like a second. He was about to like come after me from the wall. With sympathy. Dear Morgan, so sorry for your loss. It was a beautiful service. I found the old photo of you two going through boxes in the attic and thought you'd like to have it. Sincerely, Phyllis Dillrich. Alright, Morgan in Sang Jung, 1994. So yeah, he did die before Morgan did. So I wonder what the what happened behind the scenes. How did Morgan die? Maybe the heart came out, right? The dog took the heart. Died of a broken heart. I remember now, the graveyard down the street. I need to see this with my own eyes. Hmm. So we're gonna be going down there. I know what they're talking about. It looks kinda wacky now. It's gonna get crazier and crazier as we're playing. Oh, there's an eyeball in the sky now. Whoopee! And it's red too. Pretty good sky box. Oh, that's really good though. The eye moving around. It's not just like stolen. Alright, uh... Oh, okay. Please, help, please. Is this his grave? That looks like an important grave. Oh, so that's what all, like, that leftover food and not cleaning up is about. He was just in, like, some really deep depression. So he ate his feelings. Didn't clean up or anything either. Yeah, this is depressing. Back in the house? Oh, this is a past memory. Because we're, we're actually walking, we're not floating. Okay, this might discuss it more. Inspect? Yeah. My heart medication. Yeah, see, everything's like clean right now, but I think maybe it'll get worse. Hmm. There's food right there. Hardly anything on, but it helps, helps to numb the pain. Yeah, he's in deep depression. Can't go through there. Lights are on. Damn, my man is really eating his feelings. Ugh, all these bills. There's just so much to do. I feel ya. He's overwhelmed. I'd be overwhelmed too if I had to live like this. I guess I just keep on moving until something new happens. Food over here too. Morning by the window. Yep, and it starts to pile up, as you can see. Ugh, I hate these freaking flies. It wouldn't be sanitary to cook here even if I wanted to. Phone. Can't forget to call the pharmacy and renew my medication. At least he, uh, he considers himself as far as the medication goes. Wait. I can't remember if I had my pills yet. Better not risk taking another. We can go upstairs now. Alright, uh, check over here. Sing Jun would never have let things get this messy. Yeah, this is a pretty depressing story. It's making me a little bit down. Who will laugh at my stupid something? It's already the anniversary of the day we met. Maybe I'll pack the picnic basket and go to the lake again like we used to. 
Ah, okay, so that's why he went to the picnic. Up in here, okay. So you kind of just like want to reminisce back to the times like you used to. He has like the nostalgic feeling of being with Sang Jun. Wait, what is this? The ones on top I've only worn once or twice. Alright. There's the picnic basket. Yeah, I assume he died of a broken heart then. At that moment. Here we go. Guys, nothing was poison. He didn't commit suicide, he just died. He kind of felt like a, like a 2D paper, like a cardboard box or something, or a standee, excuse me. Stirring the pot, oh, Sang Jung. It's the recipe book Sang Jung and I made together. Well, okay, it was pretty much all Sang Jung. Sang Jung's recipe for Si Long Tang. Our favorite meal to make together. With this, I'll have a chance to make it one more time. Ooh. Cooking episode? I don't I don't know how hard it is to make so long thing though. We'll have to see. Add it to memories. Oh, the soup recipe, here we go. Ingredients, scallions, noodles, beef, a very sharp knife, homemade stock. Wait, what's in the homemade stock? Oh, that, that makes it hard now. We got that. Scallions, noodles, beef. I could find that. Easy. But the homemade stock. I need a recipe for that. Alright, anyway. Yeah, maybe a cooking episode one day. In case nobody knows, I do cooking videos. This can't be real. Now do you believe me? Alright, I'm dead. Come to rub it in my face? Well, I could. In fact, I will. You dumb dead moron. Well, that's not a nice thing to say. But I'm in the same boat as you. We might as well work together. <sighs> yeah, right. You just wanted to use me as bait for that thing. You saw it again? The monster with the candle? Of course I saw it again. And all its little minions, too. What I don't understand is... What does it want with us? I saw it consume the salt from another dead person. It did not look pleasant. Gosh darn it. Wait, whose soul was that? The guy you ran over and left for dead? Have you already forgotten the person you killed with? He died? It was just a fender bender. What are you talking about? May I just let that thing eat you? Screw you, getting eaten by a monster can't be our only option here, right? We can't just escape the old-fashioned way, by running away. Maybe we can make a deal with it? I mean, it doesn't look like that thing has sense. It's hard to, like, rationalize it. But sure. You seen how that thing operates? I don't think it's interested in a fiddle constance. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, for ghosts is right. Maybe we have some unfinished business. What difference would it make? If you have a puzzle to finish or whatever, then go for it. I mean, something to put our souls at peace. We could team up. Maybe we could figure this out together. That sounds like a waste of time. Time that I could be putting distance between myself and that monster. I guess this is where we part ways then. I want to try and figure out what's going on here, and make use of whatever time I have. Me too, by surviving. You know, this is starting to remind me of this one movie that I watched as a child, but I just can't for the like of me remember the name of the movie. It's like when someone dies, someone that was like evil, they get taken by some demons or something. The Reaper. I believe that guy got killed by... Um, getting stabbed through glass. I, I don't know, it's been such a long time. I wish I remembered the name of the movie. What's this? Can I go inside it? 
I didn't think I could go inside this thing. Will I die if I go in? I actually just died. Okay. So let's not toy with that. Uh, anyway, uh, we're, we're looking for stuff for the soup recipe, right? Uh, maybe start here. Maybe there'd be like some meats here. There would be severe consequences for whoever left the freezer door open. The cost of all the rotten food will be garnished for your wages. Also, I've taken the knights to my house for their yearly sharpening. Make do until they return. Angelo. Hmm, interesting. So I gotta get a knife from his house. Are we cooking here? Because the other place is already dirtied up. And plus there's no gas. So it makes sense to use this place. But maybe I can check the, check the fridge first. There we go. That's the homemade stock, right? Okay, so it goes right here. That's a good start. Better check the list to see what else I need. Alright, so we do still need the very sharp knife and some scallions, noodles, beef. For the scallions, noodles, beef, do I go inside the grocery store? It's like, how are we going to do that? Anyway, I have to cut the camera off for now because I only have 26 gigabytes of space on my computer. I don't know how I keep losing so much space even though I've uninstalled so many things. I think I need to like run an antivirus because I'm pretty sure I have like 500 gigabytes of space just sitting around that's not being used, but it's taken up by a virus of some sort. Alright, continue where we left off with Mortal Meal. So we're out to go get Angelo's knife now. I wonder if he uses the same code for his house too. Alright, so he's not much of a secure person I see. are in. Wow. Talk about taking your work home with you. Exactly. What is going on here? So, what's what's the ranking with Angela's Bistro? Or what grade do they get for the work that they do at the restaurant? Probably not very high. Alright. Uh, high. Wow, he, he sleeps with a knife right next to him. This is like that one babysitter I had when I was a baby. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're doing that? Okay. Oh, uh, this is cool. Uh, it's gonna get harder, isn't it? Okay. Ah! Uh -huh. That's a lot. Wait, I got that though. Biggest load of BS. That was a fun sequence though. Did not expect that. Like, this entire time they've been making us use, like, the space bar, but now they're using the arrow keys. Oh, right, you can't see me. Oh, so that was just, like, a little joke sequence. Okay, I get it. Alright. Chef Angelo's extra sharp knife. Hope he doesn't mind if I borrow it. We can't, like, stab him, can we? We're just here to, uh, use it to cook the beef, right? Anyway... Oh my gosh. So, it wasn't our house, it was gonna be Angelo's house. Infinite ammo. Wait, why do we need that? Are we gonna, like, shoot the final boss later or something? And anyway, yeah, we got the extra sharp knife now. Oh, uh, what is this guy up to, anyway? He must have books of something. Probably a bunch of like recipe books. I'm gonna steal some recipes. All right, done with that. Now we can go ahead and drop the knife. Anyway, I just woke up, but I had to finish this game as soon as I can because oddly still no one has played the full version of this game. 
All right, so now we just have to do the uh, scallions, noodles, and beef. But how are we going to get inside the grocery store if it's not open? Looks like the doors aren't working at the moment. Maybe there's a way to turn them on. Oh, so I got to I got to find power. All right. Oh, that was easy. Uh, open it. Oh, yes. This is from the trailer, too. Oh, wait, I'm not ready. I... I see where they're going with. Hang on. So, oh, are we doing this five times? That's what it looks like. All right, so it's going through, and uh, it gets four more to go. Oh yeah, it's gonna get harder the more we do this. Easy peasy. It's gonna involve some multitasking, it seems. All right, we got it so far. All right, got that one too. But there's three bulbs, and that means that we're gonna have to do this and focus on three of them. Uh, all right, keep it going. All right, everything looks good so far. Uh, change that. Change this. Alright, no changes need to be done. Alright, this is pretty straightforward so far. But I'm sure, like, the last two is probably gonna have, like, three bulbs. Oh, that's ugly! Oh my gosh, okay, hang on. Flip these right now. Go. Okay, this is kind of hurting my brain. That goes next, I think. Ah. Uh. Oh, change. No! Oh, that one goes first, okay. I was looking at this one over here. Okay, we focus on yellow and blue starting off. Let them go through the cycle. And then focus your eyes on blue again. Then put your eyes on yellow. And back to blue. And then blue again. Yes. Oh, yellow. Ooh. Uh, uh. Yellow again. We got it this time. Mmm. That one took some thinking. Now we got another one. Okay. All right, flipping this. Green and blue go through first. And as soon as they're out of the way, it goes straight into yellow because it comes in last second. Then blue. Green. Focus on the green still. Then blue. Then blue again. And we got it. Bam, bam, and bam. All right. That was a challenge, but it was fun. The variety of features that they have for the puzzles have been very enjoyable. No dull puzzles so far. Yay. I know this is going to be my favorite part of the game because grocery shopping is my thing. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Alright, so beef, scallion. We could start with the scallions since we're in the produce section. Yuck, red delicious. Definitely don't need these. 
Oh. These little devil things are shopping too. Oh no. They're patrolling all over the place. Attention shoppers. This is my favorite song. No. <laughs> Attention shoppers. This is my favorite song. Bananas may be perfectly fit in the hand, but not in this recipe. That's a little random. Where's the scallions? There they are. Alright, two more things to go. Uh, since we're in this aisle, noodles. Canned goods. Where, where are the noodles? Soda, juice, water. I guess I go in here. Cereal, pancake mix, syrup. Okay, where are the noodles? Here we go. Uh, yes. Got it. <laughs> That's so goofy. <laughs> Attention shoppers. This is the meat and fish. This looks like frozen pizza of some sort. Oh no. Alright, just scroll through it as quick as you can. Oh, here we go. Oh no, I died! Alright, we know where everything is now, though. I like this, yeah. This is my favorite part of the game so far. Alright. Let's do this. Now that we know where everything is. Alright, go straight into the meat section because... It's narrow. You don't have much space to dodge. Okay. Got it. And... There it is. Ah, better go drop this off. Alright, you do that. This way? What are you doing here? Run! I don't see it. Is it following you? It was here a second ago. Ah, uh, now we're playing this. Uh, I wonder if there's more like dialogue as far as like the attention shoppers thing goes. I gotta hear out for it. It sounds like they were like rerunning the same thing though. All right, yeah, I just I'll go through here. Yeah, I hate these sequences. They're my least favorite, but I'm pretty sure that's the whole point. You're not meant to like this. It's part of a horror game. Oh, look at this like Sonic Warthog. Uh, there he is. There's the boy. No, stop it. Goofy little things, you. We gotta go in here. That one wasn't as hard. That was the easiest run yet. Like, the house was quite annoying. But at least I, I had a good run on this. First go. I knew it was not gonna open for him at some point. Okay, he's gone. But I got all the items now, now I can go ahead and make that, um, Xiong Tang, or whatever it's called. Xiong Tang. Another person consumed by that horrible thing. I can't help but feel that I'm next. I better get these ingredients to a kitchen fast. Alright, it's your lucky day because it's right around the corner. Yeah. So I wonder if I... No, I don't think I got all the CDs for the cheats. And plus, they're not, like, the most satisfying cheats. Like, none of it really sounds useful so far. 
Like, I feel like I had to run most of the time instead of using infinite ammo. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe it's supposed to be a joke for... It's useful cheats, but not useful for the game. Alright, uh, let's start using. Oh, uh, we're cooking now. Set to medium. Uh, add stock to a large pot. Alright, check. Chop meat into equal pieces. Add meat to the pot. Okay. So they're just like thick chunks. This is how you make this ingredient. Or recipe, not ingredient. And then we're uh, stirring clockwise for 10 seconds. If I just keep this moving. It's like messing around with sword and shield. Trying to like cook up curry. There we go. And add noodles to the pot. There. And some salt for three seconds. And pepper. I would have said that it's pretty bland, but I'm pretty sure there's like some flavoring to the stock. And that the uh, salt and pepper is like the icing on the cake. Alright, so now we're going to use this to put the soup into the bowl. Oh, and cutting the scallions for garnish, right? And boom. Put it right in there. Alright, grab. So, what? Am I just gonna eat this meal or something? Sit down? I guess I wouldn't like to have this at Angela's Bistro, huh? We can't have it at the house. You're gonna eat it at his grave? Oh no. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, pukey puke puke. I don't like this. Oh, not, not, not today. We gotta get through this. Oh, ho, ho, no, 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 no. Not today. Oh my gosh. I got a hot bowl of soup here. And I'm trying to avoid getting hit. And getting killed by this creature. Oh no, I just got puked on to death. All right, here we go again. I'm doing this all with a hot bowl of noodle soup on me, which is impressive. I guess I can't feel the heat because I'm a ghost. I don't know, that's my assumption. All right, yeah, you gotta take like the long part if you want to avoid getting caught by the hand. Here comes Ghosty Boy. Gonna jump this way. I'll uh, probably get caught here, but whatever. Alright, fine. Oh, oh, not, not, not today. Uh, I think something just jumped out of that hole. I gotta watch out for it. Where are we at? Okay, Ghost Man's following me. What a hassle to get to this place, huh? Oh, go screw yourself. Uh, this way? There's no end to that area. I just, I just gotta keep moving. If I keep moving, then I'll have the health. Oh, this is tense. Oh no, no! Wait, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, that's not nice, having the bench right there. Go, change! I hate these pukey things. There, I think we made it.
That was annoying. Oh, we're dropping the seat there? What a nice touch. Look at this. The end. Good ending. I like that. Two candles touching to each other. Or two, like, fires touching each other. That was awesome. Very fun puzzles. No dull moment. I can't even speak. No dull moment whatsoever in the game. And the story just really keeps you interested all the way until the end. And that ending... Like, it's a clear symbolization between um, Sung Jung and Morgan. Uh, and I forgot this whole, like, credit scroll. Really nice touch to it, too. Wait, so were the characters based off of the team. I've noticed none of the characters look the same. Or they are the same. Alright, so... Is this like... No. It can't be royalty-free music, man. Yeah, they just need sounds. I'm pretty sure someone made the music. I might have missed that part. Yeah, I'm really surprised no one's played this. Maybe it's because it's one of those longer games. Longer games don't seem to interest people quite that much. Kind of like stay out of the house. Aw, uh, look at doggy eating. I mean, no one was going to eat that, huh? I mean, ghosts can't eat. Uh, yeah. We're pretty much done with the game, but we can go ahead and mess around with uh, these things. Yeah, we're missing some discs. Uh, 100 best boings. Boings. Uh, but activate infinite ammo over what? What is that supposed to do? All we did was like run away the entire time in a what if mode? I probably won't mess with everything. I'm just gonna mess with whatever I got now and we'll play So they, they, they got a track. They got the track, but they also have cheats on the side. So it's like a double feature? I don't know, I I think I'll end the playthrough for now just because there hasn't been any like full games on this yet, or like full game playthroughs on it. There's only been demos. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this up right now. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for... I don't know, an activated cheats version of this. Go we'll check out all the other dialogue choices that we haven't checked out. And it'll overall just be a short video. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I don't know, it really depends how well this video does. I guess if it hits like the 20 like mark, then I'll post it to everyone available to watch it. But if not, then I'll just post it to the members. Mortal Mill just happened to just do okay on the channel. So I'm not really expecting 20 likes to happen on this video, but if it does happen, as I said, then I'll do a little side playthrough when I mess around with the cheats, look at all the other dialogue choices, and see if there are any alternate endings. What if Mo kind of just shouts that there's an alternate ending, but I'm not quite sure. As always, if you want to see the good ending to this channel, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Road to 100k.